This is a video about how to set up a Mahara ePortfolio uh, for engineering design. I'm logged in here to Moodle as a student and uh, a student who's taking the module engineering design. So we'll click on that and um, this will all be familiar to you. If you look over on the right hand side towards the bottom, uh, you'll see this ePortfolio um, option and something that says go to LSBU ePortfolios. So we're going to click on that. Um, and what we want you to do, this is now Mahara, so this is uh, how the ePortfolios look and you can create, share and engage and do all kinds of things which, which will let you play around with um, over time. But what I want you to do first, eventually we're going to um, take this template, you're going to make a copy of it and then um, that will be the start of your portfolio. You'll change the name so it's your name rather than our name. Um, I hope you'll be able to see it here when you log in to Mahara but if not uh, I think one thing you could do is to uh, search for my surname Lishman uh, on um, the search users box. I think you'll be able to see me like that and then if you click on my name uh, so just to show you uh, okay that's not working um, let's just go back to my dashboard um, so just to show you one more time uh, we'll search for Lishman um, you can see me as the only result uh, there and if you click on my name you get this page here and then if you uh, under Ben Lishman's portfolios you'll see this portfolio here. Um, so this is just a draft of what Alessio and I think you uh, should be producing. Uh, obviously it's very bare at the moment and the idea is you'll put in lots and lots of content here and delete the stuff that I've put in. Um, or that we put in just um, as placeholders. So the next step to do once you've found this particular template is to say copy this and you want to copy the collection. Um, collections are groups of pages so what you can see here is one page but this template has eight different pages that makes it a collection. So copy the collection it'll take a bit of time like that um, and then you'll get to this page here. Now what we want you to do next is to type in uh, your name um, and then I guess engineering design portfolio 2018 to 19 something like that um, and it, under description again it might just be helpful if you put your name uh, somewhere in there and student number um, because then we'll be able to search for those things when we come to look for your uh, portfolio. So please put that in there and then again you're welcome to put in any description you want about the, the collection. Um, that's the kind of thing you can come back and change over time. But we probably want the name to be fixed so let's go with that as the template for what your name is going to, what your uh, collection name is going to look like. Um, so that's good. Uh, I'm happy with all of that. I'm not going to put in any tags and we want the navigation bar so I can just say next edit collection pages. These are the pages in the collection. I would just say don't change anything at the moment. So click done. And now on your pay on your um, Mahara site you used to have just a dashboard page and a profile page and we'll talk sometime about maybe how you could um, um, jazz those up a bit but now you've got this engineering design portfolio here um, and you can see eight different pages we've put together um, these eight pages based on things we think you're going to uh, cover over the course of the module. Um, so you'll gradually populate all of these things. If I just show you very quickly uh, the kind of thing that you're going to do um, you can, let's say you wanted to put in some text, uh, you could put in some text there uh, which says description of 30 adapter um, 
and then here I'll say the 30 degree adapter was the first part we made to create it I used um, extrudes sweeps um, holes and uh, fillets or something like that I mean obviously you know it's up to you exactly what you want to write and then uh, we've got that you, similarly you could add in another image if you wanted to or you can go through all of this list and find the different things that you can put onto your uh, portfolio um, and then maybe actually I want that to go underneath the 30 degree adapter like that um, that's easily done and we can say display page and that's now what the page looks like um, I think it's also possible somewhere if we go to settings maybe uh, no that's not it it is uh, wait a minute just uh, layout so you can change the layout of the page as well uh, at the moment it's on this one here with three columns but you don't need all your pages to have three columns you might want to set them up so that they're um, more interesting than that in some way so that's really up to you how you want to play around with that layout um, and that's the idea you are now going to take this and run with it we hope um, if I just go back to pages and collections we'd like to see really uh, everything that you've worked on throughout the year displayed somewhere in your portfolio and we're interested to see how you put all of that together um, later in the semester we'll try and run uh, we'll, we'll get some people in who uh, work specifically on Mahara and we'll get them to give you a, a more advanced set of lessons but uh, we think this should be enough to get you started and get you building your own portfolio so good luck with all of that